Good evening, I'm Tom Overly. Caitlin Alexander is off tonight. Rochester Public Schools wants Rochester residents to vote yes to a technology referendum in November. And tonight, residents got a closer look at what this all means. RPS is seeking approval for a levy of more than $10 million annually to improve district technology during the span of 10 years. And this includes buying new computers, enhancing learning software, and improving cybersecurity. RPS says the tax impact would be an increase of an average of $135 annually in property taxes. In a forum tonight at First Presbyterian, RPS Superintendent Dr. Kent Pakel discussed the referendum with residents and why he says it's so important. He says this plays a critical role in keeping RPS financially sustainable. The school has cut $20 million from its budget in the last years by eliminating jobs. We are getting much closer to where we can really say we have a sustainable financial strategy for the future and we're not cutting every year. I will say that if this referendum doesn't pass in November, we will be cutting another $10 million next year, for sure. And maybe more, depending on where some of the other variables play out. So there is a certain uh, moment of urgency and importance in that. And Rochester residents can vote on this multi-million dollar referendum on November 7th.